So, the Power Rangers 25th Anniversary, Dimensions in Danger, yet another fail for the Power Rangers. As expected, this anniversary episode was just a complete waste of time. The writing, as usual, was cheesy and full of plot holes and contradictions, the acting was wooden and lifeless, and the fan service was just way too much to deal with. First, three new rangers appear in cloaks, for some strange reason, and they say the rangers have to prove themselves worthy of getting new Zord. Even though they're already worthy since they are the Power Rangers and the Earth is only a couple of hours away from total destruction. And they do this by helping a random woman find her wedding ring that she dropped and another random girl with her science project. Hmm. So the Earth is only two hours away from total destruction, and the Rangers have to get new Zors by helping a few people with their petty problems. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, Ninja Steel. Then the three new Rangers finally reveal themselves to be Wes, Gemma, and Coda. As if we didn't already know that. And then we learn that this anniversary is going to be focused on Tommy. Yay. Now the first wave of contradictions comes here. Apparently, these guys are all from different universes, but somehow, Brody knows Wes and the Time Force Rangers, and everybody knows who Tommy is. Even Mick, who's from another planet, knows Tommy, and apparently told the Ninja Steel Rangers off-screen that there were other Power Rangers before them. So if the Ninja Steel Rangers already know who Tommy is, and are from the same universe as most of the old Power Rangers, then how come in the first episode they said they never heard of the Power Rangers? That doesn't make any sense. Also, Wes talks about some guy called Lord Draven, as if the other Power Rangers have been dealing with him for many years, and we never get any kind of context as to who this guy is and why the other Rangers know him. TJ even says, Draven? I was hoping I'd never hear that name again. Then, they go to Tommy's Dino Thunder house, where he gets captured and replaced by an evil Tommy. Again. But obviously he escaped because he's Tommy. Here's another huge plot hole. If Tommy has a son with Catherine, then when did she move in with him? Cause in Dino Thunder it looked like they broke up. Did she just show up to his house saying, it's your baby? One good thing about this anniversary is that this is the first time there's ever been any real martial arts in this season. And no, I'm not counting those stunt doubles in those tight leather bat nipple costumes. Even JDF's fight with his evil doppelganger was good besides the terrible, terrible lifeless robotic acting. You ain't nothing but a cheap copy. This copy's gonna kick your butt. And ironically, the fight was with a robot. We see that there are other old rangers, but remember, the focus is on Tommy, which means none of them get any legitimate screen time or any lines in the script, unless they agree to do this for free. Also, Tommy is the only one with a master morpher that lets him turn into all the different rangers and different colors that he's had throughout the years. Now, how come TJ, Rocky, and Catherine didn't get Master Morphers too? They were also around for more than one season and had different costumes too. Hell, even Gia didn't get her Super Mega Force Morpher that let her morph into every Yellow Ranger. Again, I have to mention this. The acting in this episode was so horrible, even for Ninja Steel. Everyone sounds like a lifeless robot. He's cloning them into a massive army of Ranger-powered robots. A massive army? There isn't even any real dialogue in this. It's just... What we need first is to get Tommy Oliver to help us. Tommy Oliver? I've heard of him. Yeah, we all have. Yep, that's Tommy's home. Tommy will work with Lord Draven. Every ranger would trust Tommy Oliver. Tommy? Meeting with Tommy when some kind of rangers attacked. Hey, Tommy. Thanks for saving us. Tommy Oliver than me. Now, the final team up and fight scene with all the rangers looked nice, but it wasn't anything special or worth seeing twice. Also, even though all the rangers had teamed up, we didn't actually see all of them during the fight scene. If you watch that fight scene, it is so hard to actually pick out who is who because there are so many of those robotic rangers, so it just camouflages everything. And then the monster grew big. So you'd think the ninja steel rangers would pull out their zords, but nope, it's just Tommy and the falcon zord. But then hold on, maybe Rocky and Catherine could bring out their ninja zords from season 3 and nope, it's just Tommy. And how do the rangers defeat this bad guy? By shooting it. Wow. And of course they had to end this with those stupid catchphrases. Rangers forever? Defending together! Now that was epic. If this review seems rushed, it's because this episode was rushed. It was just Tommy gets captured, Tommy escapes, Tommy frees the other rangers, Tommy fights himself, Tommy morphs five times, and Tommy saves the day. You starting to see a pattern here? This wasn't a team-up episode, it was just the Tommy show. 
Hell, it might as well have been Jason David Frank's My Morphin Life vlog on YouTube. The only actual team up was with Wes, Gemma, and Coda and the Ninja Steel Rangers because there was actual communication between them and you could see why they were all together and why they teamed up. Everybody else just felt like a glorified cameo. It was just Tommy the whole time and then the rest of the Rangers just showed up at the end like blah, hi, we're there. What the fuck, Judlin? Explain yourself. Is fan service really so valuable to you that you'd sacrifice quality? Uh, you know what? Why am I complaining? This is what Power Rangers has become. Ever since the writers and producers decided to go in this new direction that will only appeal to little kids and the hardcore fans that don't want to grow up, the show has sunk to an all-time low. And this anniversary episode is proof of that. They could have had some decent writing, dialogue, exposition, and overall just the same good quality that we all know they're capable of. But no. Instead, they wanted fan service and just decided to focus on Tommy and had everyone else there just for show. Please, somebody cancel this show already. It's not too late. We've had so many good seasons of this show. Let's not taint them with more of this garbage. <sighs> Why am I complaining about a kid show?